All right, I am gonna to try to demonstrate how to use this uh, one of three rug weaving tools. When you buy them, and I remember buying this, I wanna say in 1996 or so. Um, well, yeah. Uh, anyway, they come in a set of three, and that's because when you're gonna weave or braid a rug, you have three strands, right? So, cool thing is, two people can join me in this fun. So here we go, we're gonna take it, and I'm gonna have a seam ripper handy for the poking end of it. Sometimes I needed it to get this all the way through and sometimes I didn't. Now I will say, this one is cut at two inches, which is probably a little too big. Let me fix that. Um, what I did the other day when I was doing these, because I think sometimes those thick ties are harder to tie, I cut mine, not to mention, use less fabric. I cut mine down. I was down at, I was actually at a scant inch and a half, and I really liked the way it came out. Those ties were nice to handle. You like my scientific cutting right there? I do have a cutting system, but that would have made the loop take longer. So now you can see, I'm just gonna advance that fabric until it peeks out this end. Those of you who've been using a tool like this know about that part, but look at this. So I was really, when I was using this one because it could handle a smaller piece of fabric, I was frustrated that it was curling it up. But then I decided what would happen if I just turned it on its side? Look at that. Voila, double folded. Just that easy. You gotta kinda keep an eye on it. Uh, again, this is because I'm fiddling with the size of my fabric, so my fabric wasn't exactly the, the width that this tool was um, designed for. But of course, because it's a movie right now, I'm having to stop and putz with it. When I did it the other night, I did 10 of these in just a blink. I mean, they went so fast, I couldn't believe that I had passed up my opportunity for this awesome tool this whole time that we have been struggling over ties and it would have been so simple.